Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Some of you in the know might recognize this material as dead tree carcass. It doesn't weld for shit and it's anisotropic. Between, uh, what did one eye say to the other eye? Between you and I, something smells. We're gonna use some of this, speaking of smells, this beautiful West Coast cedar to make some gift boxes. But in order to do that, a part of the problem with, with wood, if you look at the hierarchy of materials, it's anisotropic. For instance, very few materials can you cut a wedge and use that wedge to cut that material. You cut a wedge of this and then jam it down lengthwise, it's gonna split this right half. And you can't do that with steel, you can't do that with plastic, you can't do that with very few materials are like that. Makes it difficult to machine. And I dare say it's not called machining, it's um, fondling. So we're gonna make a vacuum hold down jig. These are commercially available, cost you but 2,000 bucks. Now the beautiful and terrible thing about the human mind is we don't know what we don't know. And I really don't see why a hold down should cost 2,000 doll hairs considering it's a chunk of aluminum, a uh, Venturi air blower, and uh, some of this stuff, O-ring material, Buna N. Just so happens I know quite a bit about rubbers and suction. So 3 a.m. a mouth is a mouth. Hers the great godly chunk of coalesced electricity aluminum one and a half thick six inches long and 18 inches widthwise the rule of cnc machine any kind of machining of course is you never have the right process in place for the job you're doing so we got to put the vices back on to the basal platen. i got the twin six inch vices installated I've been having good luck with this uh, uh, 01 ground. It's mild, but it's been ground nice and flat, so I can't lever it out there. If I'm off by two tenths way at the tippy top, then I'm only off by, well, the power of the inclined plane at the bottom. That's too good for the girls I go out with. Spoil them. Easy as that. Cut the dick in the vise. We're going to probe this into G54. That is the work offset. What correlates the virtual world with the real world. Make sure everything is plum and square. Dude, you saw that? Good thing I was fingering my button. I hit the self-destruct. You set to thinking about boobies for a half a millisecond and bingo bango, you broke. Now this aluminum section looks pretty flat and true to the world. It ain't, it's extruded. That means that they take a, a round billet, they heat it up, 500 degrees science, something like that, and then crane it over into a die. They hydraulically press it with a ram and it squeezes it out, out of a, it's kind of like Play-Doh. Now, you ever tried to push a rope? Me neither, but I've been told to piss up a rope and that makes a hell of a mess. Same with this. When you squeeze it out of the die, it's all oh, every which words. How does it look so straight? Well, they clamp it on either end and then pull it straight, stick it in an oven and age it at 200, 250 degrees science. And uh, it ages it. It's reasonably straight. But if you were to take a dial indicator on here, it'd be off by plus minus 10 thou. What does that mean for us? Well, in order to get it straight and flat so that it will seal up air, we need to deck it off. Mistakes, particularly of the El Stupido type, not allowed here, too expensive. So we do all the checks on the confuser and then we come down here and do a dry runs I've been told what you really need is a pressure sensitive e-stop switch what fits between your buttocks. I haven't been able to find one of them. I don't frequent that side of the internet, if you believe that. This checks out. No weird loop de loos in here. No red blinking faults. And she doesn't fuck off right into the Earth's core on the Z height. Now we're still dry running. It's a whole process to prove an unproven program. We're gonna fool the thing. Well, we're gonna tell the confuser that we're two inches shy of where we, no, proud of where we need to be. Here's hoping the bulletproof glass works. 
Dry runs complete. No change of underwear required. We just need to change the handle of the dangle on the blow jobber. That looks scary, but you don't get used to it. I'm gonna try her with a little rapeseed oil. Now this canola, also known as, is flammable. 30 pissies apparently. Not just any old canola oil either. You gotta get the expensive stuff. A uh, little camera that could, the DJI drone, oh, uh, gimbal cam. Taking it right on the face there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well she'll stand up to that. not coming out that's not good yeah she fucking bound right up typical dollar waiting on a dime situation here it, it, you get into false economies where you're shaving 30 seconds off of cycle time but realistically I'm only doing but four holes why I could peck drill that or I could use coolant but then I can't use the camera inside because I can't see anything so I'm going to take the camera out, I'm going to peck drill it, and use coolant. When I rerun this program, I'm going to knock 10 thou off and see what it does with coolant. We can see with the air blast, it is picking up a chip and scouring the surface finish. It's a beautiful surface finish, but if you look at incident light, you can see where it did scour a couple spots where it picked up a chip. That is, it didn't clear the chip away and it got stuck on the tooth and kind of washed it out a little bit yeah perfect right there and see if we can't avoid that with coolant Don't appear to have any scour, so either the coolant is doing a better job or it's clearing the chip better. At a feed rate of 15 inches per minute versus 24 versus 30 versus 36. We got a case of diminishing returns. Slower does not necessarily equate to better. Plainly evident is this spabet sp sp extruded aluminum section every which words but straight you see it didn't even kiss that section and then 12 inches further nipped off or oh, 10 thou if it's an inch no it doesn't seem to be working too fucking well Fuck. Jog away. Fuck me. That thing's a pain in the arse. Not to disparage personal preference, but I ain't never seen anybody other than guys making Vajayos use that uh, extendo cock, and I can see why. You gotta, you gotta adjust it every single time. It makes for, makes for good shots, but eh, that's about it. Not worth the trouble in my opinion. Contact. Let's just make sure that offset's good. That's not good. We found ourselves a bug in the program. Pepcac. I was only off by one. It would seem that tool's not deep enough. Or shallow enough. Little tip in the back to tank. 
Should be right as rain. Do as your order. Crystals to water. Not entirely sure what exactly the problem was. The only thing I found was the step over was 200 thou. Seemed to have uh, cocked up the work, so I dialed it back to half that, 100 thou, which is 20% of the. Yeah, hopefully that works. Happy, happy now, it would seem that step over is the problem. We're gonna drill a hole for the vacuum. We'll T-drill this manually. We're going in on this hole. And we come across with the face mill just to clean up all the burrs. Fortuitously, I got girth to spare to take care of that friction stir welding. I faced it off 10 thou, and lo and behold, it faced it off 10 thou. Now I don't have any vacuum gallery, so I'm going to go back in there and make the vacuum gallery. There's a weird little blip there at the very end of that tool path. Yeah, that'll do. I'll just go in there by hand with a 7 16 drill it out, tap it to a quarter inch NPT. What, it counts? That wasn't supposed to happen. Fucking hey! Those day shift guys, they're all right. Just for that, not gonna piss in the coolant. What the fuckity fuck, fucking day shift. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Not since the Iliad, no, the, uh, the Odyssey, has there been uh, such a fight with a, <laughs> a bunch of salty seamen on an island against a cyclops. But in this case, what we're showing here, despite my hubris, this fucking thing is fantastic it's a subplate which you can get your hand up and underneath the petticoats now how many times have you done a setup where if you only had access to the back side it would make your life so much friggin easier huh huh stupid like a fox very quickly this old judo chopped the end of this off and then indexed these mirrored mirror image these holes so you can get from the back side don't need no mighty bites or no fancy uptown rigging just bolt it right through and it's hidden like magic it's uh i tell you when it comes in handy it comes in fucking handy now this is a vac venturi out of the hazard fart section for off gassing R134A into the atmosphere. It's cheap, but I take all that plastic accoutrement off the outside because, eh, it's goofy. And then you're left with just this little tiny, teeny, tiny guy painted plastic to make it look like aluminum. But it works. It goes, it takes a lot of power and it's not particularly efficient. This is a 0.21 of an inch O ring, bog standard, nitrile rubber. No special durometer. It's good for, well, the thing is we're low pressure, so we don't need to worry too, too much about the fitment. So all I did 
was made the groove a quarter inch and a quarter inch wide, the slot here, but only 0.85 uh, deep so that we can get a little bit of crush. You don't want to over crush it, you don't want to under crush it. There are tables you can look up and so forth, but now here's where you glue your eyelid shut. You don't want that big dingus glob there. Little good, good little trick to get rid of super glue off your skin is just file it off. Because it's pretty rigid and your skin's quite pliable, it just files right off. Now this is just regular old grease. It ain't the special O-ring, super expensive O-ring grease. And you can hear the pedants off in the far distance gnashing their teeth. However, it don't make no never mind. That, that other stuff is silicone based. It's more inert. But the thing is, nitrile rubber, it doesn't. It seals up in hydraulic systems the well, seals up in hydraulic systems the world over. Beauty. Like store bought. We got some high grade Canadian plywood. Bad both sides. If this seals up, we ought not have any trouble with a beautiful chunk of West Coast cedar. It's going to get loud here. I'll turn it down for you, though. <laughs> a little bit of water in that one. Not sealing up for shit. Yay. Yeah. That's not good. We're going to cheat a little bit. Yeah! It works! It's working! That's better. Ah! ah fucker! Fingies crossed it! This is the true test. A problem, of course, being this thing grew from a tree. Look at it. Maybe if we face it off, get a stronger pump. Come on, baby. Under the boiler plate, uh, if it's dumb, it works. It ain't dumb. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna face this off. Fresh cut cedar. Uh, 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 uh. Riddle me this. You ever envision a project you think you will, you know, will be beset with problems on all sides, but you proceed nonetheless undaunted. And as you progress, you just want the fucking thing to have a result. Either way, yay or nay. Just so you can wrap it up into a tight little package and throw it right in the fucking bucket. I got a feeling that's what's going to happen. Well, that there is the finest grade of Sitka spruce, what British Columbia <laughs> can provide. And we're going to face that off as well.
Wow, it works. It's working. Oh, yeah. I got this big Jesus pry bar on here, and she ain't coming over. There we go. The beautiful thing about the vacuum hold down is that you can go around the entire periphery, profile the whole thing, and you're not stuck with a step because of the vice jaw or mighty bites or what have you. There you have it. Woo! Duh! The <laughs> perfect material for masochists. What a hassle. But we did get a result, and that result was positive, which is odd because normally you start a project 99.9% .9 of the time, it ain't gonna work. You could just practice your prescience. Anybody ask you anything, you just tell them, it ain't gonna work, because chances are it ain't. But in this case, it is. Spanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. Has graduated borosilicate beaker. Use this mug. Just about chooched. <laughs>